Hey all you viewers, to be named later, how we doing today? Well, you can see by that big old green box, we're going to take a look at something by CRKT. And I got to tell you, honestly, I have been waiting to bring this one to my channel for a very, very long time. But stay tuned after we roll the intro, I'm going to show you the blade and tell you everything you need to know about it. Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for staying past that intro. Now, we've only got one little bit of quick housekeeping thing to get out of the way. If you like what you're about to see here today, please go ahead and hit that big old thumbs up. It's only going to show love and support for the channel, and that is always appreciated. Alrighty, guys, I know we haven't taken a look by the Forge by War series by CRKT for a little while. One of the very first ones I ever brought to the channel was the Clever Girl Fixed Blade. Well, now they've outdone themselves. They have made it into a folder. Now, if you're curious about the Forge by War series, take a look right up top. You're going to see a card for every single one that we have brought to the channel. Guys, there's some important information sitting in that playlist that's going to describe an awful lot about the Forge by War series. Basically, hit pause. All right. Essentially, every single blade in that series was designed by a veteran, and 10% of the net proceeds go to that veteran's charity of choice. Now, for this blade, the designer has chosen Oath. It's an organization that aids disabled vets through outdoor activities and Christian support groups. That's okay. I know some of you are going, meh, 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 whatever, save it. Now, as usual, CRKT, they do come with propaganda inside the blade. And there we go. For that one is the M16-14 SFG, which is Special Forces Group. I think I just did a review on this one recently. But without the uh, vef vefurations. But anyway, all right, moving on. Now, I love the Clever Girl. Seriously, it was my fixed blade of choice for a very, very long time. And this is now becoming, honestly, my go-to everyday carry folder. I love the fact that Austin McGlown, and I hope I'm saying your name right, Austin, when he said, you know, if you're in a dark environment and you have to go CQB, which stands for Close Quarter Battle, you want to get a blade that you know you can deploy and know how it's going to handle itself really quickly. And this thing really hasn't failed with trying to get it open, and it has stayed true to itself, a huge part because of that deadbolt locking system. But we'll get there in a moment. Now, it's got an overall length of about 9.375 inches. The blade is a flat 4, and closed it's 5.25. I know, it's just because of the cutting surface with the blade, there's a little bit of difference in here, so that, that's what caused that little off between the overall and the closed. Now, it does have a weight to it of 6.90 ounces. You're going to feel it in your pocket, which is a good thing, because if you need it, you need to be reminded it's there. You don't want a lightweight blade that you're going to forget about if you have to get in CQB. Okay. <laughs> now, it is plain edged and hollow grind, and they call this um, a trailing point blade, but I don't agree with that. To me, it's got like that little Persian upswing going on, but I'm sure someone's going to tell me what an idiot I am down below in the comments, and hey, we'll go with that. Now, it is D2 steel. And I'm just wondering, did they mark it on here like they usually do? Oh, yeah, there we go. D2, there's Austin's um, watermark, for lack of a better phrase. <laughs> and it has a black PVD coating, which is to help, you know, scratches, rust, corrosion, all that fun stuff. Now, when you open her up, it is buttery smooth because it has that IKBS system. And, man, it just goes right out there. You've got a black stainless steel frame. Both sides have G10 scales, and I'm telling you, when you're um, wearing, like, mechanics gloves and they get a little wet, it just really grips in there. It really, truly holds on for all it's worth, and it is just an absolute beauty. Now, the locking mechanism, as you can see by the big ball in back here, it is the deadbolt locking system. One of the big things I love about it, that clack when it goes into place. Now, basically, hit pause... There is a quick rundown on the deadbolt locking system. CRKT 
has a much more in-depth thing over on its website. And I'll try to leave all that great information down below in the comment, well, I should say in the description box. These deadbolt locking systems are one of the most secure locking systems I have ever seen. Tim over at Everyday Tactical Vids had one that he basically batoned into a tree and then beat the crap out of trying to break the lock and he couldn't do it. Now you do have two ways to carry this. It's right hand, left hand carry, tip up only. Now, as you've seen, it has the thumb studs or the flipper open, and it is made in Taiwan, for those of you who want to know. I know when Austin first saw this, and this is where I first saw these guys, when I first saw the folder, he was making them himself, and he was trying to sell some off, I believe, before he sold the design to CRKT. So if you got the original ones, you probably got ones that are made in the USA, but this is made in Taiwan. All right, now let's get to the fun stuff that we love to do here on the channel. I know we only do really simple cut tests, guys, because, well, most of us, if you buy this, you're not going into close quarters combat, so I don't need to really carve up a dummy. You're carrying it for your own stuff and some everyday tasks, but heavy duty stock paper like we usually do. Wow. Just really light pressure. Look at that. Let's see if we can get... Yeah, now that, wow. And you can really see it on that blade. It picked up just a little bit. All right, normal paracord. Pull test. Yeah, no problem. I already know what's going to happen here, but let's have some fun with a slice test. I don't know, can I get it for safely and not possibly damage myself <laughs> let's find out yeah that's on me it went through three and I didn't have a good enough grip on it but still it almost went right through that fourth so that's on me and our friend mr. ratchet strap yeah no problem and as we always do okay Really not seeing a bunch of fuzzies or any of that else on the blade. So, wow. Okay, now I found this guy in three different areas. I found it over on Amazon, Blade HQ, and CRKT. Both Blade HQ and CRKT are going to run you 160 bucks. It's been reviewed um, three times over on Blade HQ for a 3 out of 5 star rating. And over on CRKT, it's been reviewed twice for a 4.5 out of 5 star rating. Over on Amazon, this is going to run you 119.97. So, yeah, considerable difference right there. And seeing how the better half's not around, that's where I got mine was Amazon. It's been reviewed seven times, and it got a 4.5 out of 5-star rating. Guys, Austin designed, yet again, a hell of a blade with a folding version of the Clever Girl. Now, the Clever Girl was also in the fixed blade, was also in Battle Boxes. <sighs> Second, yeah, the second um, veteran box that they did. They have since disbanded that this last year, but he was, but that blade was in the second. It's it's a great blade. It's wonderful, and yes, I can talk about it forever. But still, I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, whatever down below in the comments section. I also want to know: Do you think she's nice or an f bomb? Nice or an f bomb? It gets a double thumbs up from me. Well, here, hold on, triple thumbs up, right? Okay. So, as we usually do, for you first-time viewers of the channel, I want to say thank you so much for viewing this video. Look, I know there's lots of options out there, and I'm very, very grateful that you chose one of mine. Now, for you first-time viewers of the channel, you long-time viewers of the channel. Well, you long-time guys who have yet to subscribe, I'd like to know why not. Leave me a comment right down below. Now, after you guys have done that, look right down there. It's going to be a big channel symbol popping up. Go ahead and click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you've gone ahead and knocked that out the way, please destroy the bell icon. Why? Good question. Because it's going to notify you, my amazing viewer, every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of videos... Ooh, we'll be popping up. That's right. Over here. 
those will be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they feel are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But guys, there we go. Let's see if I can pause that long enough just to get the thumbnail, right? <laughs> the CRKT Clever Girl Folding Blade. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope all of you have a great day today.